basketball is, to put it diplomatically, not exactly the most popular sport in the world, or in any particular region, really. It's difficult to get into, at least as a spectator, mainly because if you blink, you'll probably miss the whole volley. But in the 1970s, the sport was at its peak in popularity, and more people were participating in it than ever before. So Games of Apollo decided to capitalize on this with the first and one of the only racquetball games of all time called Racquetball. I had this game when I was a kid, and admittedly, I had no fucking idea how to play it. I think for a while I just popped in the game to watch the opening sequence where the two players come out of a little door, walk out onto the court, and shake hands while that cool theme song plays. And then I try for a few minutes to figure out what to do, and then fail to do so. As you might expect, I didn't know what the rules were, but it wasn't exactly self-explanatory either. For the life of me, I couldn't grasp it no matter how much I tried. As it turned out, the rules really aren't that complicated. One player serves against the wall, the opponent returns it, and you hit it back and forth until someone lets it bounce off the floor twice. It's not that much different from tennis, only you're both facing the same direction, there's no out of bounds, and the walls and ceiling are playable. Also, you can't score any points unless you win the exchange while it's your serve, and the first player to score 21 points wins, or at least that's the scoring variation for this video game. There are others in the actual sport. So while it didn't help that I wasn't aware of the rules, I also didn't know what the hell was going on because of all those fucking shadows the ball manages to produce. I swear to Christ, I thought for the longest time that there were like three or four balls bouncing all over the place. I didn't know which one to go for or what the objective was. Years later, I finally went back, looked into racquetball a little bit, and figured it out. And having all these shadows is still distracting. I mean, all you need is the one shadow on the floor so you can line yourself up with it, and the ball itself. This shit looks like you're surrounded by fucking mirrors. But as long as you're not prone to epileptic seizures or become disoriented easily, you should be able to overlook that eyesore. Gameplay is very basic. You don't need to press the fire button at all, except to serve. You just have to line yourself up with the ball, and your player hits it automatically, although you can control the direction of the shot. The problem is, while the controls are actually fairly smooth, the one tricky part is lining up with the ball effectively, even after overcoming the distraction of all those damn shadows. It takes some getting used to, but once you figure it out, the game is certainly playable. There aren't a lot of variations, though. You can battle the CPU, or face a human opponent. And like always in these types of games, the multiplayer option is far more enjoyable. You can also adjust the difficulty by two different variations. A lot of people tend to hate this game, and it is rough around the edges for sure, but I think once you get over the learning curve, it can be a fairly entertaining little title. And I do have to say, it's the best racquetball game that I ever played, but that's only because I never played Street Racquetball on PS1, the only other racquetball game I've ever heard of.